Okay, can everybody see my screen? Yes, sir. We are able to see it. For all those who are just joining, please make sure once you join, because uh, your mics are automatically off when you join, so uh, make sure you keep your mic off until when we get to the question time and question sections, then you can turn on your mics one after the other. But for now, make sure your mics are off so there will be no distraction. So, we all know, uh, whenever they say, uh, spot out your support and spot out your resistance, you see people do things like, you see people do things like they bring out uh, a trend line. bring out a trend line like this and then this put it out let me change the color of this trend line so it's be clear change it to right okay yeah so when they say spot out your support and resistance people bring out trend line like this and then begin to place it one after the other let me get a clear screen i need a clear screen okay so they spot out their supports and their resistance like this. They tell you, okay, it has touched here one, touched here twice. Then they want to bring out another trend line. So it has touched here once, twice, three. And then you get to see people who keeps, okay, let me admit all these other people to join. Just give me time, traders. Give me time. Let me accept every other person that are joining. Okay. So, then, uh, and how I was saying, you see people spot out, support the resistance, they bring it out like this. They'll tell you, okay, touched here once, it touched here twice, touched here, okay. And at the end of the day, you get to find out that after all the spotting out, they, sp they, they, they begin to soil their, their charts with so much trend lines. They begin to spot and soil their charts with so much trend lines because they want to bring out the perfect supports and resistance zones. In the markets like this you know everywhere is jump packed with trend lines and at the end of the day you don't you would you get confused that you don't even know how you want to take this trade because the trend line is everywhere so i want to teach you how to spot out support and resistance and let you and keep your charts clean and nice while you take your trades okay at the end of this section you're going to learn exactly how to spot out so the obvious support and resistance now if you look at the chart you'll find out that almost everywhere is supports almost everywhere is supports almost everywhere is supports and also almost everywhere is resistance huh? almost everywhere is what resistance so if you begin to bring out your trend line and spotting out all the supports and all the resistance you get to find out that at the end of the day you 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 close up your entire chart with trend lines still have people coming in at the end of the day you find out that you 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 you, you soil your entire chart with trend lines and then you wouldn't even know where you want to start taking your trade from and you even get confused, not even knowing where the, the the market could even go next. But when you have a cleaner chart, you get to see your uh, chart well and get a clearer view of where you think the price might go. So we are going to learn exactly how to do those things. We're going to learn exactly how to spot out your 
obvious support and resistance. All right, obvious support and resistance. Now we must understand the fact that spotting our support and resistance, uh, those lines you are bringing out are not areas to take trace, rather they are zones, okay? It's a zone, you, and that zone, why is it a zone? It's a zone because you feel that this is where I believe something can happen. This is where I feel something has happened or something can happen. Therefore, if something happened at this junction, I should look forward to taking a trade or I should look forward to doing this or I should look forward to looking after, uh, uh, looking out for this or that, okay? So, all this support and all the lines you bring out are your zones. You're trying to spot out a zone where you want something to afford to enable you to take a trade. So, now let us have a clearer chart. Let me see how I can delete everything that I hear. Delete drawing tags. Good. Now, now we have a clearer chart, right? Now, I want to teach you how to use uh, the rectangle shape this i believe you always see a lot of people use this during the analysis right i believe you always see this now you might be wondering why did they use this why not they use the normal trend line that we know why not they use this why did they use this okay now we use this because we want to use it to uh, spot out something obvious. We want to spot out a perfect zone, okay? We want to spot out a perfect zone. Now, let me give you the difference between this and this. If you use this to spot out your support and your resistance, okay? Now, let's say, let's, let me go to a higher, at a higher time frame let me say let me take it to a one hour time frame so we can see a better view of a large chart take note i'm using the trading view platform okay in case if you didn't know about it the trading view platform i'm using not mt5 okay Put like this let me go to for our time. Okay, this is a boom five hundred. Boom five hundred has really been on a super downtrend. Five hundred has been really trending bearishly lately. So okay. I'm going to use here as, as an example. So if you bring out your trend line, and then you spot out here as support, okay? You spot here out as support. And then let's say you bring out one more and spot here out as resistance now you kind of get confused because you begin to reason what do I do with this week this week is so long this week if someone takes a trick here and the, the for a sell and the price goes bullishly up to this level of this week it's it it, it it can actually blow someone's account. Someone with a ten dollar account can actually lose quite a lot of money because this is a four hour chart. So this week, from here to here, is quite a lot of pips. So you don't want to take trades on the on the wrong uh, area. You want to make sure that you take trades from the profit area, taking sniper entries from 
Uh, what does it mean of sniper entry? Sniper entry is that an area where you take a trade and the and the and the and the market or the price moves according to your wish so far beyond measure. Like you take a trade from here, you take a trade from here, and the market goes as long as this is a sniper entry. Okay, if you take a trade from here and the market goes as far as this, it's a sniper entry. Okay, so that area where you took a trade, the moment the reversal began, is your sniper entry. Now, if you are looking forward to using this trend line to spot out your support and resistance, you could get confused sometimes because you do not know if this area is really where market wants to stop. But if you have this rectangle as as a uh, what your tool for spotting out support and resistance this is how to use it you want to now you want to make sure that it covers both the week and the closing or the opening of the body depending where you are putting it okay so now you get to see that the rectangle is here on this candlestick and then i want to trail it down up to here which is where the week ended okay this is where this week ended so let's take for instance that uh, this let's take for instance that this uh, this price here hadn't taken place okay if this price hadn't taken place and let's say this is where the price was on at the moment so I was looking and I'm looking forward to a selling opportunity all right so if i'm looking forward to a selling opportunity i figured out here to be a resistance zone okay and then and then price moves down right and moves up and even moves higher than the the previous low okay and gives me this week here now i'll spot out here as resistance and make it as long as this to cover this week so now i'm not just looking at this area as resistance i'm looking both at this area and this area as resistance zone so that means i'm looking forward to uh making sure that if the market gets to this place i don't uh if the market gets to this place in the future okay because this has formed okay and i've spotted out this uh rectangle okay this has formed and i've and I brought out this rectangle as my resistance zone so i want to make sure that when the, whenever the market moves down and tries going back to retest this resistance zone i want to make sure that i don't take a trade here i want to make sure that i see what happens because of this week for price to get to this place broke out of this previous low and get to this area okay in the past means that at any time if mark if the price gets to this place again there's every tendency that it can still break out of this zone and get back into this range here where this previous week occurred right so you want to make sure that you don't take a, tr a selling trade unknowingly here all right you want to make sure you don't take a selling trade here so that this pullback will not affect your account this is especially for those who have little accounts okay for those who have little account like uh 10 20 50 dollars or so like if you have a hundred dollar uh i don't even think a hundred dollar can carry this whole thing because this is a four hour chart this is a four hour chart okay if i take it now to like a, a five minutes chat you get to see it's very long so you don't want to make that mistake of uh and set, entering for a sell at this junction why because this trend line told you before that here is support here is resistance here is resistance and here is resistance no so you want to also learn how to use this rectangle uh shape to spot our supports and resistance so now that you have figured out that this was how long the week was in the past and this was where the rejection sent the sent the seller the buyers back down 
okay? So you want to make sure that this uh, rectangle, you want to make sure that this rectangle uh, starts from here, the previous low, okay, onto the end of that week, so that whenever price gets to this place, you don't need to uh, bother yourself to enter a cell until price has done what you want it to do. And what do you want it to do? You want to make sure you see that the, the market breaks out of this line like it was broken before and gets to this level before you think of taking a sell. Now, you get to also see right now that as price broke out, they didn't respect this zone again. Okay, it didn't respect the zone again and still broke out of that zone and went in. You get to see that even price even went a bit more higher, okay, before it then began the real selling. So trader, if you then, uh, if price now finally got to this junction, this is where you want to look at what now is happening. It's a time to take a sell. And then you get to see that the bull, the, the, this bullish candle is still here. And you don't want to take a trade when that bullish candle is still there and forming and fully uh and is a full greenish body okay because now you have not seen the strength of the sellers to prove to you that sellers are getting in power right so you want to make sure that you don't take a sell yet until you see signs from the sellers so now your your eyes is on the zone your eyes is on the zone and now you get to see what happened that the market broke out of that zone okay got to this place and sellers rejected the market and gave us a very long uh bearish move okay in this place now you get to see that okay sellers have taken power in this zone so you see what i mean by zone in this zone you're now looking at the zone expecting something to give you a signal to sell so now what happened now you get to see that this trend line that was plotted out here before okay now turned into a support for a while and the bulls took power all right and then what happened at this same area where this week ended in the past was where there was rejection from the sellers against the buyers okay that rejection took place at that same junction and then sellers took power so what am I trying to say now, traders? I'm trying to tell you that you should also learn as you as you walk through your journey of learning support and resistance, you should also learn how to use this square, uh, this rectangle too. So not just using trend line and spotting out trend lines every, every, everywhere here and there. You should also learn how to use this to spot out perfect zones. So now imagine if you didn't use this as your if if we if you did if you didn't use this okay imagine now if we use just the trend line to spot our support and resistance and that would have taken here now to be a resistance zone believing that we should enter a cell anytime soon and then you get to enter a cell here now let me show you what would have happened to you if you took a cell i'll put this here Okay, let me change the color to. Uh, let me change the color to red. Okay, so I will take it now to a higher time frame so that you would see what would have happened to your little faint account if you took a trade from a sell from here, believing that the market has is ready to sell. This is what would have happened to you, traders. I'll take it to the five minute time frame. I hope my net will be favorable right now. Okay. Now where do we find where do we find this guy? Where do we find this guy? It's really gone far. Where do we find this guy? Okay, let me take it to a 15 minutes move. I hope I'll see him now. I hope 
we'll see now. Okay, now I'm looking for it. This is so far. I'm looking for it, I'm looking for it. Oh man. Uh, what's happening? Let's go back to the four hour chart. Oh man, that's too bad. I can't find this out of time. Out of time. Okay, out of time, out of time. This Zoom section is out of time. We'll have to rejoin again. Let me open another Zoom section. So everybody uh, get ready to rejoin again after, after three to five minutes. So this Zoom section is almost over. It's almost uh, four minutes. Okay, everybody, just leave the meeting. Let me restart it again so that we can get, we get to join back the meeting. And.